University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. 28 teams qualified to appear in this competition, but now with the first round matches completed, we've already lost 12 of them, and their groans can sometimes be heard rising from the oubliette under the studio floor. 16 happier teams will now play in the second round, where a win will place them in the quarterfinals. Now, the team from Sydney Sussex College Cambridge beat King's College Cambridge in their first round match with an impressive margin of 195 to 60. They were strong on mythical creatures, archaeological sites in Africa, world events since 2001, and Tilda Swinton, but may have spent some time since that appearance swatting up on the women in the life of Edward IV. Let's meet them again. Hi, I'm Nicholas Bennett. I'm from London, and I'm reading mathematics. Hi, I'm Ellie Thompson. I'm from Nottingham, and I study physics. Here's their captain. Hi, I'm Thomas Hitchcock. I'm from Ashford and Kent, and I'm studying natural sciences. Hi, I'm Dan Wilson, I'm from Buckinghamshire, and I'm studying German and Russian. Now, the team from Imperial College London had a very convincing win over Reading University in round one with 285 points to 110. Despite being a team of self-proclaimed science geeks, they were strong on the history of Tasmania, plays by Tom Stoppard, the boroughs of New York. But when it came to the novels of D.H. Lawrence, they seemed to have got no further than Sons and Lovers. Let's meet the Imperial team again. Good evening. My name's Ben Fernando. I'm from Birmingham and I'm studying physics. Hi, I'm Ashwin Browder. I'm from North London and I'm also studying physics. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm James Beezer. I'm from Manchester and I'm also studying physics. Hello, I'm Anna Tamil. I'm from London and I'm studying for a PhD in mathematical statistics. OK, fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What word is this? You may give the verb or the noun formed from it. Used by Shakespeare to mean eat or feed, it came to mean read in a desultory way. Since the 1990s, an agent noun formed from it has become the standard term for a programme used to access the World Wide Web. Imperial Beezer. Browse. Browse or browser is correct, yes. Right, the first set of bonuses in Imperial College are on the Apollo 11 moon landing. Firstly, the common name of which raptor was given to the lunar module of the 1969 Apollo 11 mission? Eagle. Eagle. Correct. The command module was named Columbia after the Columbiad, the giant cannon from which a spacecraft is fired in which author's 1865 novel, From the Earth to the Moon? Oh, of course. Jules Verne. Correct. Three new minerals were discovered by the mission. One was named Amalkalite, taking letters from the surnames of Armstrong, Aldrin and which astronaut who remained in the command module? Michael Collins. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> Probably coined in the late 19th century, what Greek-derived term denotes the movement in art, music and architecture that was a reaction against the ornamentation of the Baroque and Rococo and sought to return to the simpler forms of antiquity? Sydney Sussex Bennett. Classicism. Anyone like to buzz from Imperial? One of you may buzz. No one can spur. Imperial Browder. Neoclassicism. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on novels published in 1928, Imperial College. In each case, identify the work by the extract from its opening lines. He, for there could be no doubt of his sex, though the fashion of the time did something to disguise it, was in the act of slicing at the head of a moor. Um, we don't know. It's Virginia Woolf's Orlando. Secondly, sent down for indecent behaviour, eh, said Paul Pennyfeather's guardian. Well, thank God your poor father has been spared this disgrace. That's all I can say. Decline and fall. Decline and fall. Correct. Ours is essentially a tragic age, so we refuse to take it tragically. Um... Great Gatsby, maybe? No. Yeah. Great Gatsby. No, it's Lady Chatterley's lover. Ten points for this. In physics, one of the first successful applications of general relativity was an accurate explanation of the advancement by 43 seconds each century of the perihelion ah. of the orbit... Imperial Fernando. Mercury. Of Mercury, right. 
Right, your bonus is this time in Imperial College are on zoology. From that of the Dutch physician who first identified it, what name is given to the organ in the hard palate of many vertebrates that detects chemical stimuli? The only one I can think of is Leeuwenhoek, but I don't think... I don't think it is. Yeah. Um, um, Leeuwenhoek? No, it's Jacobson's organ. What is the medical name of the first cranial nerve, a branch of which transmits nerve impulses from Jacobson's organ to the brain? I think that's olfactory. Olfactory? Correct. A main function of Jacobson's organ is to detect chemical communication signals between members of the same species. From the Greek meaning convey, what term denotes such signals? Pheromone. Pheromone. Correct. Ten points for this. The primary military objective of the French and British forces in the Crimean War was the capture of which city and naval base? Sydney, Sussex, Wilson. Sevastopol. Correct. <laughs> so, Sydney, Sussex, your first set of bonuses. They're on quotations about art. A hint. Don't paint too much direct from nature. Art is an abstraction. Which French artist wrote those words in a letter of 1888 a few weeks before travelling to Arles to stay with Van Gogh. Gauguin? Correct. Art is meant to disturb. These are the words of which French artist, born in 1882? His works include Houses at Lestac and Man with a Guitar. Uh, Brack? Brack is correct. Art is not truth. Art is a lie that makes us realise truth. These are the words of which artist who, together with Brack, pioneered Cubism? Picasso. Correct. <laughs> Time for the first picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map of the present-day mainland United States with a number of states highlighted, all of which attained statehood under the United States' constitution in the same decade. For ten points, just give the decade, please. Sydney, Sussex, Wilson. 1770s. No, one of you like to buzz from Imperial? Imperial Tamer. 1780s. It is the 1780s, yes. <laughs> so you get the picture bonuses then, Imperial College. Three more maps, each showing a number of states that attained statehood in the same decade. For five points each, I want the decade. Firstly? I have no idea. I think it's 1820s, 1830s. 1830s? No, that's the 1810s, those states. And secondly... That was quite late 60s, really. Early. 1860s, 1870s? That could be late, late, late. 1860s? Correct. And finally... Um, it's 1950s. 1950s. Yes, well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What three-word phrase is used frequently in the book of Ezekiel in the King James Bible to emphasise the prophet's humanity? It was used as a title by Dennis Potter for an influential television play of 1969 and by René Magritte for his 1964... Ah. Imperial Beezer. Son of Man. Correct. <laughs> Imperial College, these bonuses are on European history. In 1514, Henry VIII's sister Mary Tudor married which French king? He died the following year and was succeeded by Francis I. Um, oh, Louis, 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 Louis the Tenth. No, it's Louis the Twelfth. The mother of Henry III and the widow of King John, which queen married Hugh the Tenth of Lusignan in 1220? By her two husbands, she had 14 children, all of whom survived into adulthood. I need only her given name. What, Matilda? 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 Maybe Matilda. Matilda? No, it's Isabella. And finally, in 1114, which daughter of Henry I married the Holy Roman Emperor Henry V? She later claimed the English throne after it was seized by Stephen of Blois. Yeah, yeah. Matilda. Matilda is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In 1867, which Swedish physicist was the first to examine the spectrum of the Aurora Borealis detecting a characteristic bright line in its yellow-green region. He gives his name to a unit of length equal to one-tenth of a nanometer. Imperial Browder. Ongstrom. Ongstrom is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Imperial, are on nettles in Shakespeare. Out of this nettle danger, we pluck this flower, safety. In which of Shakespeare's histories does Hotspur say those words? Um, 
Is that Henry the Fourth? Is that right? And one of them. Henry the Fourth, Part One. Correct. The strawberry grows underneath the nettle, and wholesome berries thrive and ripen best, neighboured by fruit of baser quality. These words of the Bishop of Ely refer to the transformation of which title character after he accedes to the English throne? Um, uh, Richard III. No, it's Henry V. And finally, we call a nettle but a nettle, and the faults of fools but folly. In which play does Meninus Agrippa say those words? I don't think it's Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar? No, it's Coriolanus. Ten points for this. Give all four answers promptly if you buzz for this. The elements of the periodic table belong to one of four main blocks based on their outermost elect... Imperial Beza. S, P, D, F. S, P, D and F. That's correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on medieval rulers' Imperial College. From the 9th century, Baldwin Ironarm and his son, Baldwin the Bald, were the first two rulers of which historical territory, which is now a region of Belgium? Flanders, Flanders or Valenia? Mm, I can't imagine. Um, Maybe Brabant. I don't know. Go Flanders. Flanders. Flanders is right. Born around 980, Baldwin the Bearded expanded the domains of Flanders to include which territory? Now a province of the Netherlands. It gives its name to a country in the South Pacific. Uh, mm. South Zealand. Zealand? Correct. In 1204, Baldwin the Ninth of Flanders was crowned Latin Emperor following the sack of which city during the Fourth Crusade? Um, that was my no. first. Um, no. Jerusalem? No, it's Constantinople. Sydney Sussex has still plenty of time to come back. We're not even halfway. Ten points for this. Why on earth was I lying on the back seat of a blue minivan with tinted windows? Good question. This recollection of being driven to a meeting with Barack Obama in 2008 begins Hard Choices, a memoir of 2014 by which former US Secretary... <laughs> Imperial Fernando. Um, Hillary Clinton. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time, Imperial, are on the US journalist and social commentator H.L. Mencken. In each case, give the one-word term for which he is providing his own somewhat subjective definition. Firstly... The theory that the common people know what they want and deserve to get it good and hard. Must be democracy, yeah. yeah. Democracy. Correct. Secondly, the inner voice which warns us that someone may be looking. Conscience. 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 Correct. And finally, the delusion that one woman differs from another. Love. Feminism. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Love is right, yes. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can name the British composer. Imperial Beza. From Williams. No, you can hear a little more, Sydney Sussex. Sydney Sussex Wilson. Benjamin Britten. No, it's Elgar. It's part of his C pictures. So, music bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake for this starter question. The name of what object was popularly applied to the pro democracy demonstrations in Hong Kong in 2014? It refers to the object. Imperial Fernando. Umbrella. Umbrella is right, yes. <laughs> so, you recall we just heard a bit of Elgar's C pictures song cycle. Your bonuses are three more pieces of music by British composers, all with maritime themes. Five points each time. I would like the name of the composer, please. Firstly... Benjamin Britten? No, that's part of Vaughan Williams' Sea Symphony. Secondly... Don't go with 
John Taverner? No, that's by Delius. It's part of Sea Drift. And finally. We sail the ocean and so see ships of hmm? Gilbert and Sullivan? Which one? <laughs> Any ideas? Um, Come on. Gilbert. No, wrong. It was Sir Arthur Sullivan. <laughs> Bad luck. From HMS Pinafore. Ten points for this. Peace, peace. He is not dead. He doth not sleep. He hath awakened from the dream of life. Written by Shelley in 1821, these lines refer to which poet who'd died seven weeks earlier? Imperial Beezer. Byron. No. Anyone like to buzz from Sydney, Sydney Sussex? Sussex Wilson. Keats. Keats is correct, yes. <laughs> right, Sydney Sussex, there's a way to come back, but you could do it this time. Three questions on an international organisation for your bonuses. ASEAN, that's A-S-E-A-N, was established in 1967 by Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore and Thailand. For what does the acronym ASEAN stand? It's Association of Southeast Asian Nations. I don't know the first bit. Nominate Wilson. Alliance of Southeast Asian Nations. No, it's Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Not close enough, I'm afraid. Secondly, for five, the five original members were joined in 1984 by which Asian state whose full name includes the word Darussalam, meaning abode of peace? Brunei. Brunei is correct. Which country joined ASEAN in 1999 as its tenth member? It gained independence from France in 1953 and is a monarchy, although its king was deposed from 1970 until 1993. Cambodia. Cambodia? Correct. Ten points for this. Blanchet les Mines in eastern France and Great Langdale in Cambria are prehistoric sites principally associated with the production of which implements? Sydney Sussex Thompson. Pencils. Anyone like to buzz from Imperial? Imperial Beza. Hand axes? Yes, axe heads, axes, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on a language this time, Imperial. What is the majority language of the countries that comprise the DACH region? That is D-A-C-H. Used, for example, in commerce and recruitment. The word is an acronym of International Vehicle Registration Codes. Germany. Germany. Yeah. Germany? Germany. German. Oh. German, German is correct, yes. German is an official language of which province south of the Brenner Pass? Ceded by Austria after the First World War, it forms part of the autonomous Italian region of Trentino Alto Adige. South Tyrol. Correct. German is one of the four national languages of Switzerland. Can you name the other three? Romance, French and Italian. Italian. Romance, French and Italian. Correct. Ten points for this. Found in the Irish Sea, barrel, blue, compass and lion's mane are species of which? Imperial visa. Jellyfish. Jellyfish is right. These bonuses, Imperial, are on sheep. Described as very hardy, with the ability to thrive on low levels of nutrition, which breed of sheep takes its name from the island group that includes Yell, Unst and Fettler? Are those are Shetlands. Shetland? Correct. Which white-faced breed of sheep takes its name from a range of hills that form around 30 miles of the boundary between England and Scotland? They lie largely in Northumberland. Uh, sheep Shevia. Nominate Browder. Shevia. Shevia is correct. What is the most numerous sheep breed in Britain? Found mainly in Scotland, it takes its name from a characteristic of the upper body. Yeah. Blackface. Correct. We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see the central panel of a triptych. Ten points if you can identify the artist. Imperial Beezer. Hieronymus Bosch. It is indeed. This depiction of the temptation of St Anthony. So you get the picture bonuses then, Imperial College. Three more artists' interpretations of how the devil tested Anthony's faith. In each case, all you have to do is to identify the painter of the work you see. Firstly, for five. Any sort of weird painters like that's something that's going on there. I don't think it's Bruegel. No, that's right. Unless you're the reference. Um, Bruegel. Which one? Oh, uh, Peter, 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 Peter. Peter? 
Which one? <laughs> um, Come on, I need... Uh, I, 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 it's too late now. I've prompted you too much. You should have said Bruegel the Younger. <laughs> Secondly... Yeah, that was that one. Um, uh, take something, James. I don't know what it is. It's on I have absolutely no idea. Neither do I. Also. We don't know. That's Max Ernst. And finally, a rather different form of temptation. Matisse? Um, no, that could be. Okay. Matisse? No, that's Cezanne. Ten points for this. Listen carefully. Spell the only common three-letter word that can be formed from three of the five letters with a value of four points in standard English language Scrabble. Imperial Beta. At W-H-Y. Correct. <laughs> Your bonus is Imperial this time are on chemistry and physics. In each case, I want the name of an element. Firstly, which element has the same symbol as that of the SI-derived unit of inductance? H. 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 Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hydrogen. Correct. <laughs> Ignoring case, which element has the same symbol as that of the SI-derived unit of solid angle? Strontium. 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 Correct. And finally, which element shares its symbol with the SI-derived unit of power? Tungsten. 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 Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> the departure of painters such as Kandinsky and Franz Mach from the new Association of Artists in Munich led to the emergence in 1911 of which new movement? Imperial Browder. Uh, Fauvism. No, Sydney Sussex. <laughs> Sydney Sussex Wilson. Dardoism. No, it's the Blau Reiter, the Blue Ride movement. Right, ten points for this. In information theory, one of the most important tools in the spectral analysis of steady-state waves is named after which French mathematician ah. and... Imperial Fernando. Fourier. Fourier is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on Greek kings, Imperial, as described in Homer's Iliad. The epithets that follow are English versions that appear in E.V. Rieu's translation. Firstly, which king of Mycenae and leader of the Greek forces does Homer call king of men? Not Menelaus. Oh. I thought it was Agamemnon, but OK. Really? I want to go Agamemnon, but I'm... I thought, I thought Menelaus was of Mycenae. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, Menelaus. Menelaus? No, it's Agamemnon. Oh, sorry. Secondly, which aged charioteer and king of Pylos is described as the master of the courteous word? King of Pylos. Um... Mm. Midas? I don't know. Come on. No. Yeah. Yeah. Midas? No, it's Nestor. Yeah. Godlike, noble and crafty are among the adjectives applied in the Iliad to which king of Ithaca? Oh, that's Odysseus. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Odysseus. Correct. There are four and a half minutes to go. Ten points for this. Originally played by Mark Rylance, Johnny Rooster Byron is the central character of which award-winning play by Jez Butterworth first ah. performed at... Imperial Beza. Jerusalem? Jerusalem is correct. Your bonuses are on geography this time, Imperial. From the Spanish for cauldron, what term denotes a wide, bowl-shaped depression caused by the collapse of a volcanic cone? Caldera. Caldera is correct. Noted for its brilliant blue water, Crater Lake is located in a caldera in the Cascades Range in which US Oregon. state? Oregon. Correct. The highest Hebridean peak outside Skye, Ben Moore, forms part of the rim of a caldera now largely removed by erosion. On which Scottish island? Sky. Lewis? No, it's Mull. Ten points for this. Previously known by names including Timbromania and Timbrology, what hobby was renamed in 1864 with... Sydney Sussex Wilson. Stamp collecting. Stamp collecting, or philately is right, yes. <laughs> Sydney Sussex, these bonuses are on entomology. What Greek prefix is added to the word thorax to denote the posterior segment of an insect's thorax? Um, Measure. Pass. It's meta. Secondly, in the order diptera, or true flies, what term denotes the modified hind wings carried on the metathorax? Voltaire's. Correct. At the base of the halteres are mechanoreceptors called campaniform sensilia, the name indicating that they take what shape? Yeah. 
a bell? Bell is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Ntombi of Swaziland and Margaret II of Denmark are among the royal figures depicted in Reigning Queens, a screen print portfolio created in 1985 by which US artist? Sydney Sussex Wilson. Jasper Johns. No. Uh, Imperial Beezer. Rauschenberg. No, it's Andy Warhol. Ten points for this. The oxide of which element is the main constituent of pitch blend used from the 1890s in the... Imperial Fernando. Uranium. Uranium is correct. Your bonuses now <laughs> are on National Trust properties in England. In each case, name the ceremonial county, for example, South Yorkshire, in which the following are located. Firstly, Felbrig Hall, Blickling Hall and Sheringham Park. Norfolk. Correct. Secondly, Castle Drogo, Lidford Gorge and Buckland Abbey. Devon. Correct. Benningborough Hall, Brimham Rocks and Malham Tarn Estate. I have no idea. Northumberland. Northumberland? No, it's North Yorkshire. Ten points for this. Premiered in 2013 by the Royal Ballet, Raven Girl is a collaboration between the choreographer Wayne McGregor and which US or Sydney Sussex Hitchcock? No, sorry. Bad luck, I'm afraid you lose five points between the choreographer Wayne McGregor and which US author also noted for The Time Traveller's Wife? Imperial Beezer. Philip Roth. No, it's Audrey Niffenegger. Ten points for this. What adjective derives ultimately from the Latin for fear, originally connoting a timid or over-careful approach, it's now used in a positive sense to mean unstintingly precise and thorough? Sydney Sussex Bennett. Meticulous. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the Commonwealth, Sydney Sussex. Three Commonwealth member states are also members of the European Union. The UK is one. Name both of the others. Malta and Cyprus. Correct. Only three of the 13 Commonwealth member states in the Americas are situated wholly or partly... And at the gong, Sydney Sussex have 75. Imperial College London have 305. Uh, well, bad luck, Sydney Sussex. We're going to have to say goodbye to you, but you were up against very strong opposition, so thank you very much for taking part. And Imperial, storming performance from you. We should look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals. Congratulations. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Imperial College, London. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>